Yo, I'm back like I left my crack at the trap house. It's your boy JB, Trap House Boxing. Back again with another video. And shouts out to the whole LDBC. Y'all smash that like, subscribe button, and share the video always. And leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive street news, you already know where to go. Go subscribe to Urban Media Fix and hit that notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat being dropped from Urban Media Fix. Also, go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. Hit that notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat that's being dropped every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time from the LDBC. All right, so uh, I was checking out a little interview um, a little while ago, man, with Jared Herb, you know, from the brother Laugh at First Sight, man. So uh, y'all can go check it out, you know, after you check out my video. You go over there and go look at the interview so, you know, confirm some of the stuff that I'm saying. But I just want to, you know, talk about it a little bit. You know, I've been gone for a little minute. Uh, <clears throat> I know y'all weren't expecting for me to pop up out the blue. But y'all know how I do. Everything is unexpected. You understand me? So, uh, anyways, man. So, Jared Hurd sends a little message out to the whole... Well, I don't want to say to the whole camp, but he says uh, Errol Spence a message, definitely. And Jam Jamal Charlo. And if you want to say he kind of like just kind of like basically just looked over Jamal Charlo. Eh, you could throw that in there, too. You know what I mean? You could throw that in there, too. But So we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean by, by all this. So, uh. Jared Heard was uh, asked about, you know, Jam Jamel Charlo, is that possible still, can, you know, is that a possible still fight that can happen? And uh, Jared Heard, you know, said that, uh, yeah, it could still happen. He said, of course, he's interested in that fight. And um, if, 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 if Jamel Charlo wins against Tony Harrison, then uh, they definitely can make that fight happen. No ifs, ands, buts about about it. You know what I mean? That's that's the fight he wants next. You know, if uh, he wants the winner, point blank, period. But he does explain that that him and Tony Harrison, after they fought, that him and Tony Harrison has became uh, pretty cool with each other. And, uh, you know, he will be rooting for Tony Harrison, but he said he wants. Basically, basically what I liked from Jerry Hurd, what he said out of that part, was that he 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 ain't, he ain't friendly enough with nobody in this business, not to still fight them. Like he he ain't buddies enough with anybody in this fight game, probably besides his brother, that he ain't gonna fight. You understand what I'm saying? They got a belt, they in his way. He gonna fight them. I like that body language. I mean, I like that uh, you know, that energy he's putting out there. But anyway, let's get past that. So uh. But he did say that if Jamel Charlo don't win that uh, green belt, which is logical, you know what I mean? If anybody arguing about, you know, if Jamel Charlo loses to Tony Harrison again, it, I mean, I'm pretty sure ain't nobody going to raise that question. You know, that uh, Jamel Charlo and uh, Jared Hurd, you know, potential fight because it wouldn't be no point. But he did say that. Um, if Jamel Charlo beats Tony Harrison, he will oblige Jamel Charlo. And then he said that, uh, he could, he, and then he said he would possibly move up, you know, to uh 160 and go holler at big bro, Jamal Charlo and get, and get his revenge, you know, see if he can, uh, revenge, uh, little bros, uh, you know, fight between them two. So basically, just basically said that he know he can beat Jamel Charlo. You know what I mean? Basically. And, <clears throat> but he did say that that he, he the reason why he wants to fight Jamel Charlo now, the uh, because that that erase all the doubt, all the talk, and all the, you know, et cetera, et cetera, about, you know, between them two, and, and, and be done with that. And he did. He did also talk about how Jamel Charlo. He ain't heard nothing from Jamel Charlo ever since Jamel Charlo lost. He ain't seen him on social media. He said before he won, when he was winning, he was a champ. 
That's all. You couldn't stop hearing Jamel Charlo, 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 Charlo. But now, he says like crickets. You don't, you don't hear Charlo. You don't see him nowhere. None of that. And, I mean, he's pretty much right. I, I might have seen Jamel Charlo one time at a fight. But as far as interviews, uh, well, he really wasn't doing too many interviews like that anyway. But as far as, like, being, you know, uh, vocal on social media, stuff like that, nah, he been real, real quiet. He been real quiet, you know. Uh, and he said, plus, if he if he fight Tony Harrison and beat him again, which is, uh, you know, he believes he can beat Tony Harrison again. He said that uh, people going ain't gonna respect that because it's it's a fight that he it's a guy that he already uh, beat already. Now they not gonna look at the fact that that Tony Harrison got the green belt. You know what I mean? So. That's the whole thing with that. Now, let's move on on to this whole Earl Spence thing. Now, J uh, Jared Hurd has said that uh, if it don't work that way, he said uh, either way it go, if he beats Jamel Charlo or Tony Harrison, he said that he'll stick around at 154 and, and, and fight Earl Spence at 154. And he said that... Uh, since Earl is a Cowboy fan, and he he watched and he's a Redskins fan, that's why he liked to fight so much. And uh, they can make it happen at Dallas Stadium and yada yada yada. Man, look at this point, man. I I, I don't care what these cats do no more, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure that these two guys will probably eventually be fighting probably sooner sooner than people think. It, it might happen. It might happen. I'm I'm not going to rule it out. Uh, I mean, it it probably can happen before uh, Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence fight. Who knows? The way it's looking, you know what I mean. I'm I'm, I'm not saying I'm 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 sure. I'm just throwing it out there. You know what I mean? Because you, you can't never tell. I mean, both of these guys with the PBC, if the if the if the uh, fight fans demand it, uh, throw it up in the air. They they might they might these two guys might entertain it. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Jed Hurd looking at the fact that Earl Spence is a big money draw as well. And it would and it would make for an exciting fight. A very exciting fight. Very entertaining, exciting fight. Um, you know, me personally, I don't know. I... I, I wouldn't mind seeing the fight, but at the same time, man, I kind of feel like Jared Hurd might be a little bit too big for Earl Spence. I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. You know, I I, I kind of feel like that. You know what I mean? But uh, as far as far as Charlo and Jared Hurd, I'm gonna be all the way honest with you, man. I I, I think I think that uh. Jared Hurd to get Jamel Charlo at this point. You know, I, I gotta see I gotta see what he do against Tony Harrison, even though uh it's, it's stylistically it's two different matchups, two different style uh matchups, you know, against uh, Charlo. But I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't know if I believe in Charlo like a lot of other people do. You know, either one of the Charlos, to be honest with you, man. You know, I don't think that Jamel Jamal Charlo can beat Canelo. You know, like a lot of people think, or or either a lot of a few of those type of guys. I, I don't I don't know. I ain't seen he ain't been. I got to see these guys against top guys. You know, um, Tony Harrison could possibly do do the same thing again, run that back again. You know, but uh, anyway, man, but. I don't know. What y'all y'all let me know what y'all think though, man. Are y'all gonna entertain this whole uh Jared Hurd and, and Earl Spence uh thing of jiggy? You know, 'cause uh Jared Hurd sounds like he's very amped up about this fight. Well uh entertaining uh Earl Spence fight. And the way the way he sounds like, you know, he game for it. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh I, you know, I want the Bud and the in the in the Spence fight, to be honest with you. But at this point, man, you you never know, and I don't even care what these do these guys do no more, man. They're gonna do what they want to do anyway. So, 
these guys going for money bags and it is what it is. I'm just I'm just gonna be here to watch it. But this your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel, like, share the video always. I holla at y'all. Peace. Oh yeah, hit that notification icon, J uh Bill, so you missed the jab session. Holla at y'all. Oh, oh yeah, one more thing, man. But one more thing. This is how I can tell if you really listen to the whole video. So, but I'm just saying though, at this point, y'all, y'all give me answer this question. At this point, if if it was just say if it all came to fruition, would Errol Spence entertain a Jared Hurd fight? I mean, how risky would this be at his career? Do you think, you know, uh, he would just, you know, just hop on this deal right here? You think, you know, what I mean, just get leave it in the comment section what you think. But it's your boy. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.